there's a point when fantasy becomes reality, when wishing, hoping, and praying comes true. That time is now for Ohio University basketball. The NCAA tournament total has reached a dozen. And tonight, the Bobcats dance in Providence. 14th seeded Ohio grapples with third seeded Georgetown in the Tourney's Midwest Regional. Moments of the past blend with images of the present. Tonight, we remember the Mac Tourney tip in from 2005 that brought about the last dance. It's a one point game, shot up, no good. Williams tips it in with five tenths of a second left. Gilbert at the buzzer, throws it up. It's no good. And the Ohio Bobcats are going to the dance, ladies and gentlemen. We're here because the slipper fit after a super ceiling slam on championship Saturday in Cleveland. Bassett's going to seal it to the rim and a slam. 2.7 seconds left, and Ohio just slammed its way to the NCAA tournament. It's over. It's over. Stand up and cheer. Grab your green hat. Put on your dancing shoes for the 12th time in school history. Ohio University basketball is going to the NCAA tournament. And we remember Robert Tatum and the 1983 Cats. He beat the buzzer and the Red Birds of Illinois State for Ohio's last NCAA tournament win. Devereaux goes up, Illinois State puts away their shot up, it's good! It is good! Robert Taylor nailed it! This is more than just a basketball deal. DJ Cooper, Armand Bassett, and Kenneth Van Kemp, and no being in the dance means a lot. It's a great feeling for me being a freshman. Uh, you know, never been done you know, in the regular tournament, but now just to make the NCAA tournament too. It's just a great feeling. Just from where we came from, we was like nine and nine at one point, and uh, on four in the conference. And uh, just, I don't even know to find the right words for it, but uh, you know, this group of guys just managed to uh, rally, and uh, we uh, got hot at the end of the season. We never stop believing in ourselves and that's why we're here right now. It means a lot to them but it means a lot to us. You know, it's a great atmosphere to be in. Definitely for me as a senior, you know, never been to a stage like this, you know, uh, so that's nice but, you know, uh, we're not done yet so we try to keep on going. In year two, John Gross has done it. He has led Ohio to the dance and the enormity of the moment and the emotions involved aren't lost on him. The pride that our people have in, in Athens and at the university and, and with our alumni and, and just to see that uh, we've been able to touch a lot of those people has been a pretty neat thing. No butterflies yet, you know, maybe maybe a few tomorrow. I think my grandmother used to say to me, if, if you don't have a, a few, then then uh, then you probably don't have, have a pulse. The Bobcats have scratched and clawed their way into the tournament. Perhaps the fantasy of upsetting the Hoyas and continuing this green and white magic carpet ride will indeed be reality in Rhode Island tonight. It's 21 and 14, 14 seeded Ohio University, and 23 and 10, third seeded Georgetown University. And from the Dunkin' Donut Center in Providence, Rhode Island, it's time for the NCAA tournament, and it's time for Bobcat basketball. Hi again, friends. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside, and Robert Smith is in our Holzer Clinic studios. For the 12th time ever, Ohio. Ohio is set to dance in the NCAA tournament. This is Countdown to Tip Off, and our coverage continues next on the Citizens Bank Ohio ISP Sports Network.